I'm at Lava Beds National Monument. It's April 21st, 2022. A little bit after noon. It's funny, it was nice and warm yesterday. Got about an inch of snow last night. Now it's nice and warm again, so most of the snow is melted. So, yeah, be prepared for anything around here. So as you see, this is the trail to Mushpot Cave straight ahead. We can go to Lava Rin Labyrinth and Lava Brook to the right, or the Cave Loop Road. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and um, start at Labyrinth. Labyrinth and Lava Brook are actually connected, so I'm gonna do them both in the same video. But I'm gonna stick to the left to, uh, you know, be consistent so I don't get lost. This is a huge cave. It took me over an hour to go through this cave. So I'm putting on my uh, gloves right now. Safety first. Notice this trail up here to the right is paved for a while, but it eventually becomes gravel. In the long cave loop road, there is no sidewalk, but there is on-street parking. So if you're gonna go up there, you might as well drive, unless you have a reason not to. Bicycles are allowed too, of course. Okay, well, yeah, when I got here this morning, there was an inch of snow, so I made the first footprints to this cave. By the time I got out of the cave, the snow was all gone. My legacy is gone. Whoops. Hang on. This cave is a little bit tight. Wow. I just had a snack, so now I can smell my own breath. I smell the food. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Okay, here we go. So let me turn on the lights. There we go. So there's a way through the cave there. There's a way through the cave there. There's an upper area there. Little bit of an upper area there. Directly above me. Oh, come on. My flashlight will behave. You can see it. It's a tiny upper area there. Not worth trying to get up there. I don't think. <laughs> okay, I've never been there, so I don't actually know. But anyway, let me come back here away from the... Okay, so there are the stairs. Notice they're pretty steep. Maintain your three points of contact. And then there's a way back here. So I'm going to keep going to the left to go clockwise through the cave. Ugh. There is one bat in this cave. When I get near the, excuse me, bat, I'll have to be very quiet. No, I just got new knee pads, so hopefully I'll be able to make better time. Last time, I had one of my knee pads malfunctioned, so I had to make a pretty bad time because I was fighting with my achy breaky knees. But they sell knee pads here. They're $25 a pair, but they do fit adults. If you go to a regular uh, store, like in a, a sports store, they're mostly focused on like middle school and high school athletics. So it's harder to find adult size stuff there. Notice how I'm going downhill. The lower end of this cave is like very, very, very close to Mush Pot Cave. Of course, you can even see the trail to Mush Pot and this one are on the same trail. So there's your first clue they're near each other. I'm still getting used to my new knee pads. They're nice knee pads. I just gotta get them adjusted. The thing is, they're kind of round, so when I lean on them, instead of holding still, they want to roll to the side. I should tell them to invent flat knee pads. Hmm. I wonder if that would even work. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. Okay, hold on. My gimbal. I pushed the wrong button on my gimbal. So check this out. There's a drop off here. Um, I already went through here once. I was able to come down the drop off and get back up. I did it once, I should be able to do it again. So down I go, very carefully. Notice I'm not wearing my backpack right now I'm, because I want to make sure that when I climb down, I don't get caught on the backpack. You could get yourself hung up doing that. Just be careful. All right. There we go. Getting down wasn't so hard. Believe it or not, getting back up wasn't that hard either. All right. Now this part's a little bit tricky. This is after. Last time I was here, my knee pad already broke, so I didn't want to go too far. But the thing is, notice how low it gets. So this is the part where it's almost to mush pot cave. If you go to the end of this tube here, to where it literally dead ends, then you're only like 20 feet from the end of mush pot cave. Obviously do not connect, but they're darn close. Now let's see 